John Clements, welcome to the UMass Video Fruit Advisor. Today is March 19th, 2009. It's the uh, start of the 2009 growing season, and this is the first installment of the UMass Video Fruit Advisor for 2009. I'm here in the UMass Cold Spring Orchard, and uh, I'm going to talk about an integrated pest management technique for apple scab that it's really not a bad idea, a practice that has not been uh, uh, widely adopted. But that is about two to four weeks before green tip or when the buds start to push is to apply a spray of urea to the whole orchard floor. The objective being to um, help break down these overwintering, these apple leaves that have fallen on the ground from last year uh, where the overwintering scab spores are located and then of course released when it rains in the spring. So if we can help break these leaves down, then we're less likely to have scab spores being released when green tissue starts to show and the possibility of infection arises. Now ideally this urea spray should be combined also with uh, mowing or chopping of the leaves, anything you can do to get the leaves broken down quicker in the spring because when the leaves get broken down the scab spores can't release. So what we're going to do is use uh, feed grade urea, that's the recommendation, at the rate of about 44 pounds per 100 gallons of water. That's 44 pounds of feed grade urea per 100 gallons of water sprayed on the orchard floor. Now you can do this in several different ways. You can use an air blast sprayer with the uh, just the lower nozzles on, or you can use a boom type sprayer that you would use to spray field crops or whatever. But the idea is to cover the whole orchard floor at the rate of 100 gallons of water per orchard floor acre with 44 pounds of feed grade urea dissolved in that spray. And that will help the nitrogen, will help the, le the, uh, the, the leaves decompose quicker. And you know, combined with a, a fall assessment of potential ascospore dose, dose or PAD, uh, we may be able to save a spray or two of, of, uh, in the spring. And this inoculum reduction is particularly important if you had scab last year, had a significant amount of scab. But if even if you didn't, it's not a bad idea. Costs about $20 an acre for the urea. Um, I happen to get mine at Helena Chemical Corporation. Just remember to get the feed grade urea. It dissolves so much easier than the granular ground type applied urea. So the blackbirds have stopped singing. They got tired of listening to me talk. Uh, I'm going to show you. I'm applying the urea, in my case, to a small block with a gator with a tank-mounted sprayer and a single fan nozzle, which works fine. But I pointed out a couple options for doing this. So I hope you can get out and do it. You really need to do it two to four weeks before bud break. Um, you know, if, if you can wait till the warmer weather, obviously when the snow's gone, it's a really good IPM technique to uh, practice in your orchard. So John Clements for the UMass Video Fruit Advisor. Have a good season, and we will talk to you later.